within Pabli Connect, we have a spreadsheet formulas action event. Now the spreadsheet formulas action event is a very, very powerful feature of Pabli Connect as it allows you to apply more than 300 plus formulas, uh, spreadsheet formulas inside your workflow. And based on that formula, you can basically calculate different values. And based on the calculated values, you can use the values within your workflows in the very next step. And you can trim, you can basically do a lot of things with the help of spreadsheet formulas. Let me show you how the whole spreadsheet formulas thing work. All you have to do is choose the app name as number formatter and the action event will be spreadsheet formulas. Click on connect with number formatter. And as soon as you do that, you will actually get a field with a formula bar right here. Inside this formula bar, whatever you enter, you will, will get the calculated value back. And we have a huge list of all the available spreadsheet functions. And you can see the huge list right here by clicking this link, which happens to be check full list here. So I'm just going to click this link. As soon as you do that, you will actually find that there are multiple supported spreadsheet formulas and we have categorized them in a different category altogether. So the first category is date and you can see all the date functions right here. Second category is the financial category and you can see all the financial formulas which are ha which happen to be right here. Third category is engineering category. All the engineering functions are right here. Fourth category is the logical category. You can basically apply logical operations as well. And this is how the formulas can be applied. Then we have the math functions and this is how the example math function can be added to Pabli Connect. And these are the, these are the value expected values that you will be getting. Then we have statistical formulas and we have text based formulas and that completes the whole spreadsheet formulas. We actually have literally more than 300 plus functions, spreadsheet functions and formulas that you can apply. Let me show you how you can apply one of those so that you will understand how the whole thing works. Uh, for example, you can see that this is a formula which says proper. This is a title. So what it does is it converts the whole string of text into a proper text. Proper text means that every single character will be capitalized automatically on a very same string that we are going to apply. So you can just copy this formula. I'm just pasting this formula in the URL bar. That way, any formatting that is going to come from copying the text directly will be removed. Then I'm going to Pabli Connect. I'm pasting the formula right here and I'm going to click on Save and Send a Test Request. As soon as I do that, you can see the first letters are capitalized. Everything is changed to small letters. Similarly, there are multiple functions that you can apply. For example, uh, in this specific case, you are trying to say to the formula that you want to capture five characters from the right side. So uh, if you specify a specific string or a number, and then you are specifying that I want to get five values from the right side, one, two, three, four, five, and the resulting response will be price. So I'm just going to copy this here, pasting this is in the URL bar once. I'm pasting this formula right here and it just does not work on the string. It will also work on the number. For example, I have a number which happens to be 992646 and I actually want to capture only the 10 digits from the right because in India, we actually have a number which happens to be 10 digit long, but a lot of time people apply different, different things. Sometimes people enter a value as plus nine one. Sometimes people write zero nine one. This is the country code. I just want to capture the number which is right here. So what I did is I used a formula, right? I applied a number right here and I said that I want to capture 10 digits from the right. And as soon as I do that, you will see that it gave me the phone number, which happens to be 992646 So now if someone gives me a phone number with 09926 or someone uses 91 or if someone uses plus 91, every time I will actually get the right 10 digit number by using this right formula right here. So basically, if you try to um, try to see, there, there are lots of possibilities that you can do. And this is just the text uh, formatting number right here. Let me just go on the top again. We have a lot of date time operations that you can apply. For example, if you want to see what is the date and time currently today in the GMT format, you can just use the formula today. And by using the today formula right here, you can see what is the current date and time today in the very same instant. So you can see today is 22, 3, 2021. 
you have the time is 0 to 37 15 this is the GMT time my time zone time is 8 6 a.m. so if you convert this time to my time zone it will be exactly the same time uh, right here and you can use the date time formatter application which is a separate application altogether to convert this time into a time in my currency or my time zone okay so you can use the formula right here similarly if you want to apply a summation function so you can do that as well sum you can say 28 plus 99 and this is a sum function you can just click on save and send a test request uh, the result will be 127 uh, one thing that you have to remember is use while using spreadsheet formula you do not have to use the is equal to sign in the start if you remember whenever we apply a formula in a spreadsheet we have to use as is equal to sign uh, equal sign in the start but in the case of this specific application or the module you do not have to use the is equal to sign uh, in the start and still you can do whatever want thing that you want to do also one thing you can you have to remember is you can also map the values inside the formulas for example in my case you can see the webhook is giving me a value of thousand in the currency key so you can see a key as currency and the value is thousand so just in case if you want to use the very same value and if you want to map it inside the number formatter you can just remove this 99 you can click this map button right here you can click on webhook and then you can just map the currency value right here which happens to be thousand so the key will not be sent to the function only the value will be sent so it will essentially add 28 with thousand and the resulting result will be 1028 so let me just show you how it is done so you can see the resulting result is 1028 and if you move downwards there are multiple formulas that you can apply you have financial formulas like you can calculate the future value you can calculate ipmt you can count uh, net percentage you can find count the pmt you can count the present value you can count the rate then you also have functions where you can convert a specific number to a hexadecimal number so you can just count use this DAC to hex and by using DAC to hex you can convert a specific uh, let me just copy this a specific number to a hexadecimal number so let me just show you how you can convert it some people use this decimal to hexadecimal to generate random string values so they uh, basically give a random decimal value a random decimal value might be coming from any other module like the counter module or something like that and based on that they generate a hexadecimal value from the decimal value uh, again I'm mapping the number which is coming on the top step which is thousand and as soon as I do that I'm just going to click on save and send a test request and a hexadecimal value will be generated for the decimal value if you want to generate random string uh, so you can just use any number between thousand or something like that so you can see this is how the random string can be generated one interesting function that I often use is random so I am just using control F so this is a random between so anytime you want to uh, generate a random number between a specific set of number for example if you want to generate a random number between uh, I'm just adding uh, six zeros along with one so I will just use seven nine here as well one two three four five six seven so if you want to generate a random number between this and this you can just click on save and send test request and a num random number will be generated uh, so basically you can use the spreadsheet formulas to generate a lot of things you can apply a lot of different type of formulas and calculate the values whatever you want according to different formulas that are available so just try them out. Uh, you have a whole list of formulas and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.